beat and I thought I could show you guys how I made it. When I'm approaching a beat, I like to think of a theme that can help me better shape the sound. I wanna add things that are very dark and dusty and very like robust in like the way that they feel. So I wanna make sure everything that I pick from the very beginning is gonna play along with that theme. I usually just start off with a very generic piano from Studio One. So first off, I'm gonna start off with the chord progression. And I'm gonna follow something that Metro Boomin used to do a lot. Take two chords, right? The first chord would stay the same throughout the whole thing. So it'd be that first chord, then that second chord. And then the first chord that he used in the beginning, he would reuse. But that second chord of the first phrase, he would use an inverse of it. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna try to keep it as dark as possible just to stay within that realm of the theme that I started out with. I don't know what I would call this, but it's pretty much like a makeshift melody. So after I got this melody counterpoint kind of thing down, I'm gonna move on to those root notes so I know where to put my bass line later. So I got all of my melodic parts, like my chords, my makeshift melody, and my root notes, which is gonna hold a lot of the emotional weight. The next part I really want to start building on is that bass line. The bass really just keeps that foundation to like where the song's going. So here I'm going to start off with a very basic 808 pattern. I'm going to follow these root notes and I'm going to use these chords just to find out where I can have that call and response reaction at. I've been rummaging through this ghosty pack that I got like way back in the day and I found like this snare. I found this, I don't know, it's like perk noise. Yeah, that thing and like a few other hi-hats. So I feel like the hi-hats keep like the bounce and the movement. We start off with that hi-hat from Drill. One, skip two, one, skip two, one. After I get that very basic pattern down for the hi-hats, it's really just trying to add my own kind of groove to it. Uh, I'm gonna use a couple rolls. I'm gonna use a couple doubles. I like to add layers onto my hi-hats. I like to take three different hi-hats and add more dimension to them. I got that very simple snare. And then I use this open hat. This open hat's really just to lead into that first snare, just to give it more movement and make it like snap at it. I was debating about a kick on this one. I don't think drill could be drill without kicks. So I got that basic 808 down and I'm, I built out more of the drums and I got more of the sounds down. So I wanna go back in and kind of refresh it, kind of like, tighten it up, make sure it's hitting at certain points where I wanted to hit. So really from this point on, it's just making sure I pick the right sounds for my drums, going back through it, doing all kind of sort of things with my drums to make sure the bounce is just right. So this is how I made a drill beat. This is the full track. If you like it, let me know down in the comments because I really do appreciate that.